Hi, Glenn Bischoff, Editor-in-Chief of Urgent Communications Magazine at IWCE 2013 in Las Vegas. And I'm speaking with Fred Scalera, Director of Public Safety Solutions for Alcatel Lucent. Fred, I understand the company is demonstrating a plethora of LTE capabilities this year. What's it all about? Well, you know what, it's the power of the network. We're doing a lot of different applications here today from facial recognition to telestration to GPS to interoperability to video. We can build the best network in the world, but if we don't have applications for the responders to use over it, why should we build a network? All right, so what are some of the details? What, what are some of the capabilities that you're demonstrating this year? So one of the ones we're showing is facial recognition, not only having it recognized so it's in a, in, a, in a command center, but so an officer on the road with a tablet or a device can also be able to snap a picture of the person, go out to that database, and come back and find out whether or not they're in the system. So uh, if we could, I'm going to demonstrate that how it works today. So with Eclipse IR, as I turn to the screen, you'll see that I, two of my eyes at some point will turn green, and they will add me to a database. The more that you're picked up, the more times you're added to the database, the higher um, uh, percent find on the uh, search, if we do a search you into the database. Um, Dave, over to the right here, has a tablet. And I have Tony standing back here, and we have preloaded the database for today. He's going to snap Tony's picture. Once he does that, it takes a few seconds. It goes out to the database, and it brings up the four closest matches of anybody that may have been picked up by a camera system that was putting them into the database. Well, that's definitely a great capability for law enforcement. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the cloud-connected table, which sounds very futuristic. What's that all about? So this is uh, another one of our NG Connect partners called IgoLogix. Um, so this table allows for us to do full telestration. You can get it out all the way to the iPad from there over LTE so that whatever we're doing here in the booth or in the command center can also make it to the officer in the field. We can do this with facial recognition, we can do it with GPS, we can do it with telestration. Okay, Fred, there's one last LTE-related capability that I'd like to talk to you about today, and that, in, that involves the emergency medical sector. What can you tell us about it? So one of the new things we've also worked on with our partner, Zephyr, is uh, live medical monitoring. And we can do that many ways. So one is we can monitor a responder, and you'll see AJ actually under his shirt today has a bio harness on. And we're monitoring live, he's being received through this device here, and you see on this screen, we're monitoring his heart rate, his blood pressure, we can monitor all his vital signs while he's in emergency. Well, we want to take that to the next level. The next level is mass casualties. We have mass casualties every day. Bus accidents, train accidents, 9-11, um, hurricanes, natural disasters, and we wind up with a couple technicians of paramedics and EMTs there, and what occurs is we prioritize them. And the ones that are the most serious, we triage, and the other ones, we tag them, and we say they're okay for now, and we're not watching them. Well, now, after we prioritize the, the lower person, we can now take this unit and actually stick it right on their chest. This will now monitor that person live. So the system we're showing you today can monitor up to 64 uh, people being triaged at one time. So now if a problem occurs, um, this can be monitored locally, and then if you look up to my right, this is the hospital. We can now, over LTE, transmit this so that instead of at the emergency scene, where we're short personnel trying to monitor all these people in triage, they can actually be monitored by a nurse sitting back in a hospital, seeing that everybody's breathing okay, what their pulse is, what their heart rate is, what their respirations are. And then if a problem occurs, she can immediately contact the responders on the scene, tell them what the triage tag number was, they can go back to that victim before we found out that it may have been too late and address the scenario. Well, Fred, it all sounds terrific. Thanks so much for taking the time to walk us through it. Great, no problem, thank you. So this time I'm speaking with Dave Kristoff, Director of Solutions Marketing for Alcatel Lucent. Dave, we've been talking with Fred Scalera about LTE, which of course is the, the hot new broadband technology, but backhaul is an essential part of broadband that doesn't get talked about very often. I know that Alcatel Lucent has some great solutions for backhaul. What can you tell us about it? Well, Glenn, there's really two significant uh, new capabilities we've added to the Alcatel Lucent backhaul solution. The first new capability is, is with IPMPLS. IPMPS apparently has um, strong uh, security capabilities, but in light of all the security um, cyber attacks, we've added some additional capabilities for access control as well as for privacy. Um, for example, a, a, a firewall has been added into our IPMPS routers to keep unwanted traffic out. We've also added the uh, 
network address translation uh, capability to keep uh, things private. The second thing that we've done is we've allowed now uh, public safety agencies to extend the benefits of IPMPLS further out into backhaul. We've done this by uh, providing a new configuration that can be mounted on poles, an IPM BIOS router that's environmentally hardy. It enables now a public safety agency to utilize IPM PLS from the core all the way out to the very edge of their network. Um, so they have a consistent uh, performance as well as a very highly reliable network, which is really important for mission critical traffic. I think this is going to be very important, particularly as we move forward with FirstNet, you need to support, to provide more base stations uh, for LTE. All right, well Dave, good luck with it. It sounds like a terrific Thanks very much.